How's it going everyone? It feels like it's been forever since I did a how-to propagation video, so we're going to do one now with neon green nephthia corals. When it comes to these branching leather corals, they are really more similar than they are different. I can barely tell them apart other than some color differences and some very subtle texture differences. In terms of care, they all do well in a wide variety of tank conditions. Propagating these leathers is not difficult. If left alone, they'll grow large and branch out on their own. But let's be serious, we try to propagate just about everything here. The first thing to pay attention to is the health of the coral being fragged. Try selecting one that's well established and already growing. This is a key point because if the coral is already doing well, it will generally survive the cutting process and also attach to its new substrate faster. People often ask me how fast a coral grows, and it really depends. Nephthia, for example, grows really fast once they start, but that lag period can vary. Ours didn't grow for a whole 12 months, and only lately have they shown their typical explosive growth rate. The next step is preparing the substrate that we will be attaching the cuttings to. I like to select pieces that are somewhat log-shaped and slightly irregular because it tends to be easier to loosely wrap a rubber band to this surface. If you haven't already guessed, the rubber bands will be holding the cuttings down. When you're ready to cut, trim pieces that are roughly two inches. I like to do this in a separate container rather than in the tank because leather corals release all sorts of toxins that can stress out neighboring corals. If you've ever tried gluing soft corals to rocks, it's no fun. They're really adept at sloughing off any glue and slipping away. It can help if you rubber band as well as glue, but it's more of a personal preference thing. If you do decide to use a dab of glue, pat the nephthia dry first. Rubber banding the coral down is kind of the trickiest part of this propagation technique. The problem is, you want the rubber band to be tight enough to hold the coral in place but not too tight that it cuts the coral in half and you lose both halves. The difference in pressure between those two outcomes is not a lot, so to play it safe, we tend to go a little looser. Okay, this frag is ready to go back into the system. After a few minutes, the polyps are extended, which is a good sign. If you do it right, even a loose rubber band is enough pressure to cut the coral in half. As long as the coral already had an opportunity to attach, this is a blessing in disguise, because the result is two attached frags. You can then cut the rock to separate them further. Thanks again for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Take care guys, happy reefing.